Hello guys, my name is Dan and today I'll show you how to make a sticker for Counter-Strike Global Offensive. You'll see that it's not a big deal, it's not rocket science. There are some steps, easy steps to be made for you to have a beautiful sticker on your gun. Okay, let me show you. So, first thing, you'll have to have a PNG file. Uh, it's highly recommended you do not use uh, images from Google or um, fan art like I did. This is Jack Skellington. Uh, this is a character from Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. And uh, I will not uh, upload it to Steam Workshop because uh, of the copyright. Though I made this myself. This is a uh, vectorial modeling made in uh, Corel Draw. But uh, anyhow, you'll have to draw your own PNG file, and after after you made it, you'll have to make sure that it's a square and it has 1024 by 1024 pixels, and then save your PNG file. So this is my PNG file. I will save it. Also remember that it's crucial to have um, a folder on C. I made um, this folder C sticker. Uh, you'll see why because it's uh, pretty <laughs> pretty hard to browse when you will be in. Uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive SDK. So, save your PNG. I will save it for now on, the, on desktop. Okay, let's replace it. So, now we have our PNG on the desktop. The next thing you'll need to do is to download and install from MEMS Tools VTF Edit. I already done. I already done that. Um, I can assure you. That it's uh, virus free. I have uh, Note 32 antivirus and nothing pop up, popped out, so it's clean. So, open VTF edit and then just import your PNG file here. So, I'm gonna import. Just leave it like this. The default settings is fine. And now you, s you will see that your PNG file is kind of messed up, but it's okay. Okay, the next thing uh, you have to do is go to no mid map and no level of detail before saving. And after that, save as a VTF file. This file, this VTF file, it's important to be saved in C, your folder, in my case, sticker. And I'll save it as Jack VTF. Okay, we are half there. <laughs> so we have the VTF. Now we all all we need is the VMT file. For the VMT file, just open Notepad, and you will have to have something like this. I choose the paper-backed glossy sticker style from. Country Strike Global Offensive blog. So let's go there and I'll show you in a moment. Glossy sticker and glossy paper back stickers. So basically, all you need to do is copy this in your notepad file. Okay. But as you see, you'll have to modify something. So let's modify. All you need to do is erase this, just delete it. After that, you will need this. I already have it here. So I'll copy here. Okay. And after that, you will need the path. The path of your jack of your VTF sticker. So my path is C sticker jack PTF. But be careful when you 
I will show you it Explorer because I think many of you are using Explorer. So the path width will look something like this. C sticker and my name is Jack PTF in my case. So it's like this. But as you can see, these lines are not the same with this one. So all you need to do is go to edit, replace, and we will replace this with this. Replace all and now we are good. See? It's the same thing. Okay. After this you'll have to save. Select all files. And save it as DMT. So Jack dot DMT. Oh what happened? Jack DMT. Did not text all files. Okay, save. So we have now the DMT file. I'll just replace mine with a new one just made okay so now we have all we need you'll have to go to your library tools and download counter-strike global offensive SDK I already done that so I'm just gonna press play now here first we'll try the model viewer see how our sticker looks first you'll have to load the model sticker preview this is the default sticker and now let's replace it with the, the one that we've made so for that you'll go to materials select this and then replace it with your own and Here's the sticker. This is how it looks like. If you want to see how uh, how it it will look after the wear, <laughs> you can play with this slider. Okay. So let's say you want to see how it looks on, on one weapon from counter-strike it's easy to do that just go to load model sticker preview and use a gun any gun you like Nejev, M24, Glock, 5.7 I like 5.7 okay so now oh, the 5.7 it's full of stickers, the default stickers. There are four stickers. Let's replace them all with our sticker. Just press replace VMT. It's easy, I told you. It's not rocket science. Okay. Okay. And now you have the sticker you made on your gun. It's pretty simple. Okay, now if you are happy with uh, your work and you are ready to publish it, you will have to return, return to um, the SDK. Just go to Workshop Python Publisher, check sticker and then press add. You will need the screenshot. For that I strongly recommend made a screenshot with these dimensions with 1024 height 768 this is the resolution I recommend so now that we have 
a screenshot. Let's put it here. The title, description. Jack. Okay. Here you have to put the VMT file. In my case, it's here. Also, the PSD file or the PNG file, the source file for your um, artwork, your sticker. And after that, you'll have to view the agreement and just click here and press publish. That's that's how a sticker is done. Uh, I hope you find that helpful. My name is Dan, and until next time, goodbye.